uh, email. Email still rules uh, the business world. You know, Agreed. newsletters, email communication with your customers, with your employees yep. and so well hopefully I, you're not doing too much email with your employees like hopefully you're using slack or something so like managing teams these days yeah it, 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 like it, and i say these days we did away with email for our teams probably 10 15 years but i ago. would say that the but for, what for we're going to talk about stuff what we're going to talk yeah. about here now about impactful email or yeah. maybe i should change this to impactful messaging is okay. applicable to to all of uh, it. Slack, sure. whether you're using Teams, whatever you're using, email, and uh, I, I I'm uh, I'm going to mention the X platform again. And I probably apologize, but I do spend a lot of time up there because I think it's a, a wealth of information and a masterclass at just about any topic you want. I learned from you, Dave, how to curate my stream of uh data yeah. to be super useful and there's no garbage in there which i love it and i stayed yeah. away from twitter x for years because of that and now it's like perfect it's like a perfect fire hose of information for that's me. great uh this guy up there moses kagan who's got a gazillion followers um he posted something that got me thinking about messaging and email and what he said was Business emails should contain no more than two sentences per paragraph. Yeah, let's start. Let's start with that because people don't read. You know, if if you're digging down and you've got one thing after another after another, people are like, "What? What are we? What are we getting here?" And, and yep. you just you won't get the response you're going to get. Or no, you, you unless you know that your recipient is. A, a a a prolific communicator right yes. like if, if they're gonna read every word you write them even if it's a five-page opus great but yeah, unless but you rare. know that and yeah. you are certain that you're willing to 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 go on that then you got to follow this rule exactly. for sure and, yeah. and the second part which i i think is really great which I don't do. I do the first part because I've learned. I actually try to keep it to one topic per message. Oh, for because sure. It's yeah. tough. You can't, if you start to go, go, go down, it just falls apart. But yeah. the second recommendation, if the sender, you, expects an action from the recipient, the ask should be bold and underlined. I thought that was pretty interesting. <sighs> I, I, I mean, that, that I, I guess, again, it's reading the room, figuring out, yeah who You're it's probably, going to right he's, he's got a, he makes a good point i have a problem and i and i i i've i've softened on this in recent years because yeah. i understand where the world is and i'm a realist but i have a fundamental issue with emails not being sent as plain text and the reason is oh i see it, yeah. if you unless you're really good at and you know what your formatting is going to look like on the recipient's end. I prefer to send email that is going to look like my recipient intends for it to look right. But I, aren't, aren't most people using modern email clients that, that, that formatting is standardized or not? No, that's, that's the question. thing yeah. is okay. if I choose a different font for my email and different sizing, mm -hmm. which as soon as you start adding formatting, all of your stuff goes along with it. It's not like, here, send this to Shannon and underline this, but keep the rest of it looking like he wants email to look at the right size and all this. As soon as you start formatting it, you sort so of maybe take it's, over. Uh, maybe it's asterisk at the beginning, asterisk yeah, at the I, end. I'll do like asterisk. That. I yeah. will. Yeah, I'll do things like that. And again, you can use a, a lot of people use underline and bold uh, communicating with me, and it is effective. So yeah. you just need. But I, I guess my my advice here is test, test, test. Send this email to some trusted friends, send it to yourself so you can read it on your phone. Like you don't know where someone's going to be when they're reading a message Yeah, that's and true. you've got to make sure you're communicating effectively. Cause I, we've all gotten those emails where the font size is either oh, yeah. 10 size, 10 sizes too big or 10 sizes too small. And you're like, this looks like a cartoon. I, I this is stupid. Yeah. And, and, it, yeah. it, and it converts, it, it, it communicates perhaps unintentionally a, a lack of, of attention to the recipient, Right. Mm. And, and that, I, I don't know if I get an email where the, the font and the formatting is all screwed up. It's like, Oh, I don't have time for this right now. Yeah. And then I'm frustrated about it. Even if it's something I know I need or want to pay attention to. So yeah, no, that's I, good. I, 
Yep, uh, it makes sense. Yep. Uh, his last um, tip is if the email if the email must contain more than four paragraphs, it should begin with a summary and the ask. So what's the action I'm yep. requesting? Yeah. Uh, with the additional info posted below that. I'm into so that. So kind of a too long didn't read, right? So okay. Yeah. He, here's a quick summary. Here's the ask, and then this. And I, I when. I think that's a great idea if you're doing newsletters as well is to have kind of, yeah. I used to call it the monologue. You you had a brief monologue of, okay, we're going to talk about this stuff today. Here's the key points. That way, if somebody wants it, cause you got, you're, you're trying to respect time, right? It's the most important yeah. commodity we have. So yeah. if somebody looks through there and says, ah, you know, this week I'm not really interested. I'm going to be gone. But I, I love that TLDR. Yeah. You know, well, there, here's, there's a, here's a, the gist of it. There's a thing that that existed, it has existed for years, uh, called five sentences, and mm. uh, it it is, you know, essentially this same thing, oh. a, a policy that all email responses, regardless of recipient or subject, will be five sentences or less. And then there, there's also the two sentences, three sentences and four sentences rules, too. But the idea is exactly this. And and the 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 gist is treat all email responses like text messages. Right. I love Wh it. Which, of course, back in the SMS days actually had a limited number of, you know, that's where Twitter's yeah. initial 120 characters came from was was that then they doubled it. But um, but, you know, it was cool. because it was built to be texted around. And so. It had to fit in that, but that there is, there is efficiency in yes. limitations like that. I so, yeah. yeah. And, and all good writing is, you know, strip it down, strip yeah. it down, strip it down. And yeah, uh, you got to strip it down. A, yeah. It's hard to yeah. do, but less is more. And, uh, I have found, you know, I'm, I'm working on this new book, escaping employment. And I found yep. that writing on Twitter has actually helped me in that regard sure because it's just you can't have that superfluous stuff in there nope. and e even if it goes against a, a grammar rule sometimes it's it's very effective just to be like boom here it is yeah and here's the here's the thought and this and is it people yeah. you get away with it on twitter because people yes. understand that that you need to be efficient on that platform yeah so, yeah. yeah so but it's definitely helped my writing i think the, the biggest thing is just to do it often and especially yeah. with like emails or messaging if you're not doing it often, these are great rules to follow. I love this five dot sentence dot es. I think that's fantastic. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm it's definitely good. gonna gonna share that uh, yeah. with my people. But anyway, we'd love to hear your tips. It's Casual Friday. We wanted to talk about email messaging. Um, share your thoughts with us so we can share them with everybody else. Come find us everywhere. Go to the show notes at, at businessbrain.show. You'll see all our links and all that good stuff.